hey guys, I didn't see you there. Make sure to subscribe and join the family. Well, let's go. Come on. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is obviously a review on one of my favorite dolls of all time, Truly Me Number 40, who I think you should all be as obsessed with as I am. But before we get into that, I have a couple of announcements and things I wanna talk about. The first being my next video is my 50th YouTube video. So to celebrate, I'm going to be making a video where I react to my very first video I ever made, which I guarantee will be very, very cringy because I remember that video being very cringy. Also, my video after that is the one I bet you guys are all pretty much curious about if you saw my comments on my last video. I talked about doing a video potentially where I react to my subscribers' dolls. So how I want to go about doing this is if you are interested in me reacting to your doll collection, please leave a comment underneath my pinned comment that I'm going to leave, reply to that comment, and say that you are interested in being in my next video, and then tell me which video of yours on your channel you want me to watch and react to, and if you do not have an active YouTube channel, you can always send me a DM of a picture on Instagram of your doll collection that I can react to as well, and then also in your DM or your comments, just say that you are giving me permission to use your content in my video in order to react to it. So without further ado, of course, subscribe as always, but let's get into today's video. Okay, so first of all, I wanted to talk about something real quick. I am one of those people where I never really talk about what clothes my dolls are wearing because honestly, I don't feel like my clothes for my dolls are that cute. And I know I should get more into Etsy clothes and stuff, but I just don't know that I care enough right now. So maybe someday, if you wanna know more about her outfit, you can let me know, but I really don't think anybody actually cares. And pretty much everything that I own is from American Girl, except for some select pieces, including these shorts. But now, onto the actual review of Lily. So, Lily is truly me number 40, and if you guys have been watching my channel for a while or even just for a couple weeks, you'll know in my recent ranking video, I ranked her as my number one doll that I own. Now, on surface, that might not seem like such a huge deal if you don't know about my channel, but if you do know about my channel, you know that I have almost 40 dolls, and a lot of those dolls are retired or rare or custom. So the fact that this doll is my favorite says a lot, and I've been collecting dolls for 15 years. So I thought she deserves some spotlight, she deserves some attention, no one ever talks about this doll, and honestly, I don't understand why. I know she retired now and it's not as easy to get her, but I see her all the time on eBay and it seems like no one cares about her. And guys, honestly, I don't know why, because this doll, just something about her screams perfection to me. So let's get into all of her features, okay? All right, so Truly Me number 40 sports a few really cute features. First of all, she's got these dark, almost black almond shaped eyes because she has the Jess mold and personally, that's my favorite mold and you guys will all know that if you follow me. Um, I love the Jess mold. I love the eye color with the eye shape. She doesn't really have a lot of detail in her eyes like I think Z does and I think the new 64 has as well. She doesn't have that, which I don't really mind. I do like that new edition, but she is kind of the old school version of this mold. She's got feathered eyebrows and a really, really cute lip color that's pretty subtle, but again, you can notice it better than some of the older dolls. She's got a really cute blush. Like, look at it. It's like the perfect color where it's not overwhelming, but it's also noticeable. Her hair is probably my favorite feature on this doll because she has pretty much exactly the same face as Jess and number 30, but somehow she's my favorite because of the length of hair, because it's so easy to take care of. And if you guys are collectors like me, you'll know sometimes it's just nice to have a doll that doesn't need a lot of maintenance and you can just kind of look at and she's cute and you can do stuff with her hair, but you don't have to. So all in all, I would say she's pretty much the perfect doll. Um, another feature that I really enjoy about her is the kind of subtle highlight she has in her hair. Her hair is not completely black. She does have some really cute, like really subtle lowlights, like dark chocolatey lowlights. And also her hair length is really cool because it's a little bit longer in the front and it's a little bit shorter in the back. So you can pretty much make her hair do whatever you want. You can put it in pigtails, you can do braids, but again, it looks cutest down and I always leave it down because Lily just can do no wrong, quite honestly. So this is Lily's side profile, and I personally love the way that she looks from the side. Obviously, all Jess molds will look exactly this way, but if you are determining whether or not you want a doll with the Jess mold, please do it. It's perfection. So this is the back of Lily, and as you can see, the hair is kind of looks more like a bob from the back than it does in the front, but I don't mind it because, again, it's easier to do hairstyles because the front is longer than the back, but it's also not super long in the back where it's hard to maintain. 
Um, but I just, I love how she looks from the back and her hair, look at how shiny it is. And she's three years old and her hair is still that shiny. Granted, I take really good care of my dolls, but still, you know, it, it's still impressive. Now for this extreme close-up, just look at her cheek color and the cute little cupid's bow above her lips because that is the first thing we're gonna take a look at, then we're gonna zoom in even farther. All right, here is your intense close-up for the day. Totally unnecessary, sorry, but here are her eyes and I really love just how her eye is shaped and also the really cute inner corner details that she has and of course her nose, which again is, is just so cute. So I thought that I would show her outside just so you guys could get a better idea of what she looks like in the light and natural lighting and not in front of my studio lights. All right, well, I'm pretty sure that wraps up today's review. If I left anything out, please feel free to leave a comment down below asking me any questions you might have and I'll answer them for you to the best of my ability. Also, if there's any other dolls in my collection that you'd like to see a review for, as always, leave them down below. I hope that this was helpful to you guys and even if you don't want Lily, I hope that now you kind of do because honestly, she's the cutest thing in the world. So once again, if you would like to be a part of my next video after the next one and you want me to react to your dolls, please either leave a comment or send me a DM and I will react to them in my not next video, but the video after that. Um, I really hope that you guys found this to be helpful. Um, also, I have another doll coming in the mail, which I know I said I wasn't going to get any more and I meant it, but then I saw this one and it was too good of a deal and you guys will understand when I open her because I never thought that I'd have a doll like this and it's crazy and I cannot wait for her to get here. So that will be coming soon, so stay tuned and of course subscribe if you haven't already, join the family and I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye!